Good morning, gorgeous. Thanks for checking in. Uh, it's a little overcast this morning, so hopefully we won't get rained on. But uh, we're just going to go with the flow this morning, kind of see what happens, acknowledge all the feelings, and remember that you must listen to your body more than you listen to me. Everything's an invitation. You can accept it or you can decline it. So uh, with that being said, we will go ahead and begin in mountain pose. So spring each toe wide, lift up through the spine, bring the rib cage back, relax the shoulders, and let the arms extend down. Taking a deep breath in all the way up to the ceiling as we exhale, take the hands through heart center. Deep breath all the way up. And back to the heart. One more time, big breath up. And through the heart. Inhale, take it up to the ceiling with this breath out into our chair pose. Just sweep the arms back down and around. The hands can stop in front of the shoulders or take it up by the ears, you decide. Sweeping the arms down, big breath all the way up. Swan dive to the mouth. Halfway lift. And release. Big breath all the way up into our chair pose. And sweep up. And take it back down. Halfway lift, big breath in. And release it down. Inhale, rise and shine. One more time into our chair pose. And take it back up. Swan dive down. Flat back. And release. Just pausing here for a moment. Relax the head, looking between the knees. Shake the head, yes. Then reverse swan dive all the way out and up. Taking the left arm down, right arm stretching up and over into lateral flexion. And inhale, take it back up. Right side. And reach it back up. Hands into the heart center. And release, big breath up. Swan dive all the way down. Halfway lift and release. Step it back to our down dog. Right foot back, left foot back, hips to the sky. Spread the fingers wide. Lifting the heels up, setting them down one at a time. Inhale, shifting forward to plank. Exhale, lower the heart down. Taking it to baby cobra or king cobra. Holding here, maybe close the eyes. Breathing between the collarbones. Then gently coming to our child's pose. Sending the hips back towards the heel. And just shifting the hips from side to side a little bit here. Moving through two half series. Half series can be done in place of our full sun salutation if we have any injuries in the wrist or just want a more gentle practice. So as we inhale, we'll shift up to modified plank. Knees down the ground, but belly button draws up to the spine. As we exhale, elbows in, lower the heart to the mat. And again, just a gentle cobra. It can be baby cobra, no weight in the hands, or we can extend the spine just a little bit more into our king cobra. And gently return to our child's pose. Inhale, modified plank. Belly button in, lower down, and pick our cobra. And back to our child's pose. Inhale, rising up to hands and knees, just stepping the right foot between the hands in a low lunge here, waking up the hips. If we want to, we can walk the hands to the top of the knee, maybe bring them into heart center, maybe reaching up to the ceiling. And 
and gently bring it back down. Lift the hips, take that right knee back to where it came from and take the left foot forward. Sink in, waking up the right hip flexor. Then we can walk the hands to the top of the knee, maybe to the heart, maybe reach out. And gently sweep it down. Let's lift the hips, send that left knee back to where it came from, and just send the hips side to side when you're here. Returning to our down dog, spread the fingers wide, toes curl under, hips go high. Inhale, taking the right leg up towards the ceiling, twisting our dog. Letting that left heel release towards the mat. And stretch it up, set it down, other side. And stretch it up, set it down. Inhale, floating forward to our plank. Chaturanga, lower down. Picking baby cobra, king cobra, or up dog. And back to our down dog. Feet to hands, forward fold, walk or float. Halfway lift and release. Inhale, reach and rise all the way up to the sky. Hands through the heart center. Deep breath all the way up. Swan dive all the way down. Inhale, flat back. And release, lunging the right leg all the way back. Inhale, rising up. Interlacing the hands behind the back. Walking the shoulder blades down the body and if we feel like it, folding into it. Making sure that the left hip isn't shooting out to the side. We wanna keep the hip aligned to the knee. And lowering the hands. Release them to the mat and step back to our down dog. Inhale, shifting forward to our plank. Chaturanga. Cobra or up dog. And back to our down dog. Forward fold, feet to hands. Halfway lift. And release. Inhale, reach and rise all the way up. Hands into the heart center, just a little balancing tree pose. Shifting the weight over to the left foot, bring the rib cage back to activate the abs. Find a spot to focus on that isn't moving. Then placing the right foot at the ankle, calf, or thigh, just not at the knee, keep these. Reaching the hands up to the sky. And allowing our tree to blossom. And reach it up, back to the heart center, releasing the right leg down, just give it a little wiggle, yoga boogie. Shifting the weight over to the right foot, growing taller, rooting deeper, left foot comes, ankle, calf, or thigh. Then reaching high. And reaching wide. Still breathing. Remember, a swaying tree is still a tree. And reaching it up, back to the heart. And release it down, wiggle it out. Releasing the hands, big breath all the way up. Swan dive all the way down. Halfway lift and release. Lunging the left foot all the way back, sitting into our lunge. Inhale, reaching high. Releasing the hands behind us, interlace the fingers and walk the shoulder blades down. We can stay here or bowing into it. Nice 
getting those hips sink even more. And lower the hands to the small of the back, releasing it down and return to our down dog. Right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, lunge it through. Setting up for warrior two. Turn the back foot down. And windmill up, down and around. Sinking into it. Breathing deep. Reverse warrior. Taking the right palm up and over. We can take that little back hand across the small of the back. Maybe working it up towards the back of the head. Or maybe even find a cow face bind here. Sink in. And if we're not sure what the cow face bind looks like, turn around. And softly release, bringing it back to center. Inhale, taking the arms up. As we exhale, turn the front foot in, back foot in. Warrior two on the other side. Sink in. Once again, reverse it, turning that left palm up and over. Right hand can come across the small of the back. Maybe work it for you. Maybe find that cow face behind you. Sinking just a little more. Inhale, take it up and bring it to center into a goddess. So both toes are pointing out to the corner of the mats. Sinking a little more. And just gently turning towards the right. Back to center. To the left. And just rotating back and forth, moving with the breath. Keeping the hips square. Activating those core muscles. Maybe sink a little deeper. Maybe a little deeper. Just a couple more. Then back to center seat, just a little more. And inhale, rise up. Taking the hands to the hips. Turning the toes in, heels, toes and heels. Then coming to the center of our mat, sitting up for a little bit of dancer. Taking a deep breath in, both arms high to the sky. As we exhale, bringing one arm down. Bringing the bend in the knee, reach down, grab hold of the ankle. We can stay right here. We can walk it into the inside of the ankle. Now, just for giggles, we have the option to switch the hands. For a little variation of our dancer. When we're ready, gently press the ankle into the hand. When we're ready for the other side, deep breath all the way up. Taking the other hand down. Find the ankle. If we're feeling it, switch the hands. Then press the ankle into the hand. Gakko, you just had a journey for yoga. Deep breath all the way up. As we exhale, taking it back to the top of the mat. Big breath all the way up. Hands back to the heart center. Setting up for a little bit of pyramid pose. Stepping the right foot back. 
Both hips and all 10 toes are still pointing straight ahead. So the headlights shining straight ahead, hips and shoulders. Taking the hands up to the ceiling. Apparently I'm in the mood to balance this morning. So we're gonna take this into a balancing pose. Bring the rib cage back, then lifting both heels high. Shoulders back and down. Lifting just a little more. And we lower back to our pyramid. Releasing the hands, big breath all the way up. As we exhale, twisting to the left. That brings that right hip forward a little bit more. Setting up for a little revolved triangle pose. So reach it forward, let that right hand come down to the shin, down to a block or down to the floor. Still breathing deeply. Sweeping that left hand down to meet the right, rise back up. And hands into the heart center. Shifting the weight into the front foot, take it forward, mountain pose. As we come to the other side, left foot steps back. And feet are hips distant here. Bring those hips around, shoulders around. Reach it high, roll the shoulders back. Rib cage back for stability. Then pick those heels up. Arms are powerful, fingertips shooting fireworks out of the hill. And lower it down. Release the hands, big breath all the way up. This time as we exhale, twisting to the right. And reach it out. Let that left hand come to the shin, block, or the floor. Still breathing. Then sweeping that right hand down, pick up the left and rise back up. Hands into the heart center and step it back up to our mountain. Get a little wiggle around. Releasing the hands, big breath all the way up. Swan dive all the way down. Halfway lift. And release and return to down dog. This time we can hop back or step back. Inhale, shifting forward to our plank. Chaturanga, lower down powerfully. Cobra or up dog. And back to our down dog. Forward fold, feet to hands, walk or float. And pausing here for a moment, allowing gravity to create space between each of the vertebrae. And heel toeing the feet out to the edges of the mat for a wide forward fold. Taking the left hand to the right ankle, taking the right hand to the left ankle, and relaxing here. If we want, we can add a little twist. So taking the top shoulder away from the body and just adding in a little, nice little stretch here. Breathing, of course. And we'll gently bring it back to center, switching the hands. So now the left arm is on top. We'll gently twist into it if we choose, peeking out under that left armpit. And gently bring it back to center. Setting up for a little firefly. It's been a minute since we've done this one. So turning the toes out, we can come into a little yogi squat here. We can stay right here. We can always come back to our forward fold if we'd like. If we want that firefly, 
we'll take the hands beneath the hips, sitting up so that we're sitting on the backs of the arms. And we've got a couple of options here. We can heel toe the feet together, crossing at the ankles, and finding our firefly option here. The one thing I like about fireflies, if we fall, generally there's only one direction to fall in, and that's one of those cushy directions. So, got a cushion back there in case anything happens. We'll gently release this option if we want to. We'll start to walk the toes away from the body, maybe picking up one foot, maybe picking up both feet. Breathing wherever we're at. When we're done playing, we'll just gently come back to that wide forward fold. Halfway lift, bring the feet together, or hips distance apart rather, and release it down. Coming to our downward facing dog. Lifting the heels high and setting them down. Lifting them high. One more time. Now coming into boat pose by any means necessary so we can bend the knees, gaze forward, and hop it through. Or we can just come on down to the mat and bring our legs around. Breathing into it. Just going to row our boat today. Keep it nice and gentle. Remember options here, we can always take the hands behind the knees. You can always lower the feet down. As we inhale, sweeping the arms out and up, growing forward and down. Inhale, back on, forward and down. A couple more times. If we want that extra little challenge, we've had a little too much coffee, stretch it up. I need a pedicure, so I'm not gonna stick my feet up in the camera. One more time and into butterfly. Soles of the feet connect, knees apart, rock those sit bones back and gently lean into it. stage manager wants food. Two more deep breaths here. And gently rising up. We've enjoyed firefly today. So I'm going to kind of tap onto that with a little bit of tortoise pose or turtle pose. So I'm gonna take the feet out nice and wide. Listen to your body, remember anything you get into, you have to be able to get out of. So honor it. If we want to, we can take the hands, the elbows beneath the knees, then slowly start to lower down. Breathing here, and we may not make it to the ground today, and that's okay. Wherever our turtle may be, This is just a nice stretch to get us to that point of our firefly. So bringing the feet together and gently lower all the way back and down. Hugging the knees into the chest, rock it around a bit. Taking both knees over to the right side, stretching behind us with that left arm and gazing over the shoulder. stay here we can stretch one leg out we can stretch both legs out if we choose and we'll gently bring the knees through center and over to the other side stretching the right arm behind us looking out over that shoulder
gingerly bring it back to center. Come, you stay right there. I'm gonna turn around so you can see Calfe's legs. One of my favorite stretches. So we're gonna take the left leg, cross it over the right, and hug those knees into the chest. We can rock around a little here if we choose. And using those abs to support this pose. If we want to, that top hand can slide down to that ankle, back hand can slide down to that ankle, and gently bring in the heels to the outsides of the hips. Two more deep breaths here. Gently release and just untwist, retwist the other side, hugging the knees into the chest. Bring the other leg back in. Good job. If we'd like, we can slide the hands down to the adjacent ankles and hug it in. And gently bring it back up and unravel the legs, bringing the feet down wider than the hips and just windshield wiper the knees from one side to the other. Then stretching the legs down long, tucking the shoulder blades beneath the body, palms opening up to the sky might start catching raindrops here in just a minute. And just softly close in the eyes. Being aware of everything that's around you, the breeze, the birds, the three-year-old. And just staying here as long as you would like. And until we meet again, namaste.